All right, so we just got off the bitchy and we're onto the red dirt. Have a go at that. Amazing. We are so lucky. schedule we need to stick to in order to hit the Gibb River Road and get to Darwin when we need to be there. By all accounts, Broome is a very busy place. We haven't booked anything, so we're gonna try and get into one of the overflows. There's a couple of overflows there, which is why we're on the road early this morning, hoping to get, get there early and get a spot. Say good morning, Patsy. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll see you in an hour or so. That's our first sighting of Broom. That looks beautiful. So we made it into town and we got into the overflow camp, which is really good because they still have power and water and it's not as dear as the actual caravan parks themselves. We're doing a bunch of jobs. We've been to Bunnings, Harvey Norman, Fuel. What else have we done this morning? Auto parts store. We're doing it all. Broom's got it all. And now uh, we're making our way to fix this up. Dang. Yes, so. Yeah, okay, so for our first official night in Broome, it would be rude not to come down to Cable Beach for the sunset. As there's always a cracking sunset here, they've got camels on the beach. And uh, one thing I did not expect was it to look like a car park. Look at the cars on the beach. There must be 200 cars on the beach, Dar. Well, that's warm ocean water. Super warm. Yeah. Like hopping into a lukewarm bath. This is literal peak hour traffic. <laughs> this is insane. Absolute chaos down here. People with iPhones and cameras it is it a free-for-all to try and get a photo or a video of these camels it's sunset's meant to be a relaxing time and <laughs> it feels so stressful everyone running around trying to get their picture to come out here to look at solitary tree and also the Roebuck Bay red cliffs because you want to see like the water in. Yeah, you can come anytime, but it's best on my time. Yeah, have a go at this road. <laughs> it's so red. I'm still not sure if I need to let my tires down or not. I'm just, I'm just rolling with it. It's pretty hard. There is some corros here, so that's why I'm driving on the wrong side of the road. That's the Kimberley, baby. Yeah, I just found out this morning we're in the Kimberley. <laughs> I didn't <laughs> even realise. Hey, we travelled a long way to get here. We travelled like 1,400 k's in two days, so it sort of teleported a little bit. But yeah, just getting our bearings down. Sandies. 
Look at that! Stuck here in the mud. <laughs> There's a turtle there, eh? He looks pretty sick. Yeah, I reckon he's been chopped on because he's got holes in his shirt. I reckon that's croc bait if I've ever seen it. <laughs> Which it's shorebird season at the moment, so unfortunately for us, we can't put the drone up because um, it disturbs them. So. This place would look insane from the air, but today wasn't meant to be. Amazing scenery out of here, but we're gonna head back into town and uh, go and look at Roebuck Bay from the actual town of Broome now. Broome is very lovely, and it's like got draws quite a lot of similarities to our trip over at Thursday Island. Yeah, and, uh, I wonder if like this blue water is has something to do with good pearls. Has to, surely. This color water, I've only seen the same shade like at Thursday Island yeah. where the curling was. So. And the town of Broome is so nice as well like in the main bit where you where all the shops are and stuff. Um, I was saying before it kind of reminds me of Noosa but more like the ringers version of Noosa. <laughs> <laughs> this is the top end Noosa. Yeah. I'm happy with that. It's a pretty good description. Where are we Patsy? I think it's called Simpsons Beach and it's where there's really cool red cliffs. And then the turquoise water, and it looks really nice. It's definitely meant to come on high tide and it's not high tide anymore. This is cool. Look how red that, those cliffs are. Fantastic. I might even try and fly the drone here. The, another funny thing about droning in Broome is that there's an airport like right in the centre of the town. So you can't like really launch the drone anywhere there because um, it's a restricted like airspace. with the funny smelling horses and a hot tip for anyone coming to Broome is uh, don't park like right at the beginning where we parked last night come like a kilometer or two up the beach um, and you get like wide open space to yourself and not people running around everywhere in front of you What's going on? Where have you been? I had to pay the bills. You had to pay the bills. Someone's got to do it. <laughs> Patsy's been at the Broome Primary School today doing a day of relief teaching while I've been sitting over there in the library. In the Ignition Library while I've been teaching sport. It's like 30 degrees. It's too hot. Well, anyway. we've got a good afternoon ahead of us. Yes, I'm so excited. Because we're packing, we're all packed up and we're ready to go up to meet uh, Derek and Sue at. Kondong Beach. Yeah. All right. Wait, let's go. Good. So we just got off the bitchy and we're onto the red dirt. Have a go at that. Amazing. <laughs> and yeah, we're just dropping our tires down because Derek's already up there at the moment. He said it's um, pretty soft in some parts and pretty corrugated. So we'll let the tires down. Plan has changed as well. We're supposed to be going to Kondong Beach, but Derek's already up there and he said it's full. The issue too is that. We don't have reception, so we can't like communicate with each other. So we don't even know where Derek and Sue have ended up. Yep. So it's an adventure, a little after school adventure. <laughs> all right, so we just caught Derek and Sue. Change of plans, they've been trying to get camps all up and down here all afternoon. Poor buggers have been at it since one o'clock and it's 4.30 now. But we're at Willie Creek and we're hoping that we can get a, a campsite here. Otherwise, we'll be going and finding a gravel pit for the night. Beggars can't be choosers. We got the last site here and Derek's had the park in the car park, unfortunately. So this will just be our lodgings for tonight and um, hopefully we'll find somewhere a little bit more picturesque, picturesque tomorrow. Um, but that's not to say this place isn't picturesque because we just had a look and it is low tide, but um, when this place is high tide, I reckon it's gonna look pretty sweet.
Got anything to say this morning? Yeah, I'm in a much better mood today. <laughs> what do you think, Massey, of today? <laughs> I'm not in the mood. Okay. Teaching just really doesn't do it for me, hey? <laughs> really kills my vibe. Anyway, I've woken up today and it's stinking hot as usual. We went for a little walk around Willy Creek and it's so nice. The water is so blue, but again, we're just so scared of crocs. Yeah, and this is low Which tide. <laughs> the, the tide is ripping in and there was a, what, an eight point something meter high it's tide? Like a, um, nine meter tide or something last night so we couldn't camp where we wanted to because the tide was going to come up at midnight yeah we we're supposed to camp like pretty much in line with here but down there about a few hundred meters but the water literally comes up to that point like on the rocks like it comes up the rocks so this here is low tide so it fills all this bay with water it's kind of crazy to to believe and i really want to see it full but um we, I think we're going to head up to Kwandong and try and save a site because um, we want to camp out with Derek and Sue, but um, Sue's working, so they can only move like in the afternoon, in the late afternoon, and that's too late to be able to get a site. So, um, so we're going to try and go and get we'll one. We'll go and try and bag one for Take us. up enough room for them to come in later. <laughs> Fingers crossed. So we, unfortunately, we probably won't see Willy Creek at, at, at this moment on high tide, but um, you can already see like that sandbank was yeah. completely full when... We started our walk and uh, it's all, almost fully covered now. Uh, so I can't believe how hot it is, it's August. It's sticky, so sticky and stinking. Well, I actually like it because it makes me feel like I'm on a summer holiday. Yeah, you're on a summer holiday in winter. Yeah. Lovely. Have a go at this guys, we're making our way into Kwandong Point. We're hoping to snag a spot for us and Derek and Sue. That is a contrast, hey. Yeah, that is amazing. They got the lowdown that uh, there was uh, some people leaving this morning and they sent me a message saying that they were going. So we're coming up here and trying to slip into their spot. And uh, then we can have a good night with Derek and Sue with a good view and even a fire maybe. Hello. Oh, sorry. I didn't realize I'm on. What's, what's going on? Hello. How's Kwandong Point, mate? This is the best. We're just waiting on Derek and Sue to show up. We're going to have a hot lunch, and then hopefully the wind dies off, we can have a fire tonight. That'd be nice, wouldn't this it? This is such a pretty campsite, hey? Yeah, look I at the red I love eating cliffs. with a view, and this is a good view. that sunset look at these cliffs they're just absolutely lighting up right now we've got some lamb chops ready to go on the fire we've got a fire going and this for a sunset oh spot. look at the red on the cliffs we are so lucky to be camping up here with such good company tomorrow we're gonna punch it back into broom and uh, spend a few more days around that area and do a few more of the attractions that are closer to town and uh, we'll take you along with the ride, so yeah. I've got nothing. <laughs> Alright, 
So we went back into Broome with Derek and Sue and we managed to both snag a spot at the Overflow Campground at the church. Such a good campground there because it gives you flexibility if you don't have bookings. It's only like $45 a night for power and water and you can run the aircon and it's been that hot. Today it's 34 degrees and we've been pretty reluctant to swim because of the crocs but this afternoon we've come down to Coconut Wells where we can finally have a swim because they have these really cool rock pools here apparently so we are ready to go sue and i are that keen to get in the rock pools um it's a bit tricky though this one because the coconut wells is really dependent on tides there's also a creek that you can float in but you have to wait until there's a nine meter plus high tide and then that means that the water is high enough to like break over these sand dunes and form a creek and a lagoon today and tomorrow are the only days like while we're here that it's a nine meter plus high tide and then on its way out it like leaves rock pools or something apparently so we thought today we'd come at low tide to do the rock pools now that the tide's out and then tomorrow we'll come back at high tide and do the creek float hopefully lots of organization going on but we'll see how we go this afternoon it's swim time Nestled amongst these little pinnacles everywhere are these nice deep blue pools. Like look how deep this one is over here. Whee! Oh you can't even like touch go the Go down, go down. What? <laughs> So we made it back to Coconut Wells for day two and in about an hour or so this whole inlet is going to be full of beautiful blue turquoise water. So we've got to pump our floaties up and make about a 45 minute walk down to the start of the inlet and then for the next hour we can float in with the incoming tide and um, sit back and relax. So here we go. Hello Mr Cupcake. A little bit longer. He's filling up though, it looks magic.
after uh, quite a big night last night at the Matzo's Brewery. We've had a late start to the day today and uh, still doing some gib prep jobs. And um, one job that I have been putting off, it's not necessarily a gib prep job, but it's a uh, diesel heater service. So what I did is I bought a full kit so I can pull this whole diesel heater apart, give it a service. When we are down south in WA and we are running the diesel heater, it, there was quite a lot of smoke on the startup. And rather than just changing one thing at a time, I thought I'll just do a full job, pull it all apart, change all the filters, change all the gaskets and stuff and give it a good clean so it's good as new um, when we go to use it again. I've already been under the van and I've replaced the little fuel screen and uh, a pre-fuel filter. A clogged fuel filter is usually a common issue um, that causes that white smoke on the startup. Yeah, so I'm gonna pull this little unit apart. This is it out of its case. I've just separated it from its case and pulled it out of the floor so I can work on it nice and easily. And um, there's three sections for this, a few gaskets and stuff. And um, yeah, I'll clean out the main body and show you a bit of the diesel heater. So I know a lot of people run these in their vans and um, maintenance is pretty important on them to ensure they don't smoke out the campgrounds that you're staying at when it gets cold. So there's our glow plug right there which I'll give a bit of a bit of a clean up just with some um, just like a scotch pipe pad and in, in there in that glow plug there is also a screen that I'm going to replace so it's just a small little screen so I'll replace that as well look at that gasket is actually perished in there so it's already fallen apart so lucky I've got a replacement one that see that combustion chamber is full of um, red dirt and um, soot so give it a good clean out okay, so now all the components are cleaned up my burner my combustion chamber and um, my inlet side all the dust has been cleaned out of them any soot or gunk has also been cleaned out so now it's time to um, replace all the gaskets and put this thing back together I feel like I haven't talked on camera in ages and that's because you probably haven't. We've just um, been in Broome with Derek and Sue. We came back to Broome like about a week ago and in that time we went to Coconut Wells for the rock pools. We did the creek float at Coconut Wells. We had a, a little like meet up at the brewery with Derek and Sue and we met some awesome people. But yeah, apart from those things, we the whole rest of the week has literally just been filled with doing jobs and preparing for the gear. Just like being so busy getting all the stuff done that we haven't really had time to go and keep doing the rest of the stuff that I wanted to do in Broome. So oh, it's I feel been like... A, it's been full on, hasn't yeah, it? It's been I, super I, as I full said, on. we've had a bit on, but... It's all done and today is the day that we are actually leaving for the gib. With Derek and Sue, I'm so excited. We're gonna have the best time. But um, yeah, I feel like we haven't really done a good job of broom, but um, that's just how it is because we had to start the gib. It's already getting so hot and we need to Yeah, we need the, to get the wet season's closing in on us. Yeah. The, the window of opportunity to do the gib is really starting to get narrow and we're pretty much leaving yeah. it as late as we really <laughs> yeah, want to. Yeah, we're right so. on the back end of the season here. Yeah, but the last week literally has been spent busting our butts every day getting the car service windscreen replaced stocking yeah. up getting the bits and bobs that you, you need when you're in like a central town and trying to like do all you know like the 
the videos, like catch up on stuff. Yeah. Um, Cause you know, I guess that will take a bit of a back burner over the next few yeah, weeks. It will definitely. Um, um, but anyway, so yeah, the good thing is like next year we're coming back to WA and we're doing the bits that we didn't get to do and the bits like this area that we didn't get to do properly. We're going to do them again next year. Plus so the bits that we have, really enjoyed yeah. <laughs> again. Oh my God, so I can't wait. we have that to look forward to. But I guess that's where we'll wrap this episode because like I said, today we're starting the give. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so that you can see our upcoming give adventures. Leave us a comment and we'll catch you on the next one. See you when we see you. <laughs> Be good.